Hey guys, what's up? This is Helper Touch once again with the wonderful tutorial in Photoshop CS5. So today we are going to create this background right here, which is a spectrum kind of rainbowish looking color, and it fades from top to bottom. So to get started, just so you know, just make sure you know your screen resolution, which is mine's 1200 by 800, so we can create our background. And for those of you who don't have Photoshop and want wants this background, head on over to my website and I'm going to put the link for my website in the description. So, first thing you want to do is uh, open up Photoshop and this is going to be our final result. Create a new file and punch in your numbers for your screen resolution which mine happens to be 1280 by 800. 72 uh, pixels per inch and 8 bit transparent background. Hit OK. Then you want to fill your uh, background with black color. So hit D for default colors and then hit Alt Backspace, which is going to give you a black background. And then right click on your layer, go to Blending Options, Gradient Overlay and click the little bar and uh, make sure you select the first one right uh, or the first one in the second row in which your case it will be first one in first row which is black to white gradient hit ok and uh, hit ok this this is what you should have till now and so now we are going to flatten this image by right clicking and flatten image I'll double click to unlock the layer one more time and then we are going to go to filter distort waves and then uh, set your number of generators to about 11 if your screen resolution is higher than 1280 by 800 then you might want to consider bumping this number up then you know what I'm going to do about 10 10 or 12 in this case and let's see our results this is what you should have till now and now we are going to right click layer prop uh, blending options go to your gradient all layer one more time click the bar and come over here click this little arrow if you ha don't have all the spectrums and click spectrum up a pit or a pit then select the rainbowish color that you want which I want this one because that's perfect and set it to zero pixels and uh, we are going to uh, choose linear burn or you can choose different types of uh, uh, gradients that you want but based on what you want and uh, let's scroll all and see which one we want this one looks cool but we're gonna keep checking out and select the one that best fits you and I'm gonna pause this video and select the one that I well, chose in my background video so in my uh, final image I used uh, linear burn which is perfect which gives you this uh, little gradient then click OK and uh, duplicate this layer for uh, um, just as like a backup result so if you mess up just come over here and unlock this layer and now we're going to create another layer right click blending options and uh, gradient overlay select black to white hit OK and uh, f hit alt backspace and you should get this then come over to your layers panel and uh, select linear burn for this particular image and then flatten image ok oh I did something wrong right click 
flatten image. No, you don't flatten this. Just create a new layer and combine this to layer by right clicking merge layers. And uh, then we're going to change it to either linear burn. If that's too heavy for you, just select overlay. And that, if that doesn't look right, just keep scrolling through and select the one that you like, which I took. I like this one personally but you can just keep on going and uh, choose the one that best fits you so let's just keep it at soft light and that is all you need to do and then go to file save as I'm gonna save as PNG format and in my desktop name it background underscore wallpaper and hit save. Interlace, just select none and then click OK. Now, to change your background, just uh, find your image, right click, set as background. Or for some other users, just go to personalize and um, you will have a bunch of options. Select the background which mine's supposed to say uh, desktop background click the background you want or browse it to that and save changes so as you can see we have a cool little background here and my computer is messed up for some reason because it's showing me distorted one which happens to be perfect on my photoshop file and so this was the final result and I'm going to uh, hit and create download link for both Photoshop file and the final mint. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate this video and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.